Hey, hey, this is Mike Gingrich, and I'm glad to be with you here on uh, Live with Mike. Every Tuesday, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we go for uh, about 10 minutes, and we talk about some type of digital marketing, social media tip, something that is uh, happening today that's relevant for you as a business marketer on social media platforms, all right? So I'm in uh, the Candy Factory, my office area in Pennsylvania here, and I'm in the um, podcasting booth. You can't see the equipment because it's uh, right there in front of you. But uh, that's what it is. So it's, uh, uh, you see the metal roof here. Um, I'm in an old in industrial uh, manufacturing building, actually. And um, it was uh, converted into office space. Uh, it's a tremendous space here. So if you want to look that up. Uh, co-working, you know, great. So I work with, um, you know, on any given day, there's probably 25 businesses in here plus, And uh, we share space. We share office rooms. I have to, you know, you book these things out. It works well, um, but today I want to talk about the, the latest social media digital marketing tip that I think is important for you, and I actually have two of them, and they just come from experience. Two phone calls, all right? Uh, actually, one phone call and one social media message on Facebook kind of thing. So uh, the first one was a phone call, and um, the gal says, um, I talked to Mike so-and-so, and he recommended you, and he said that uh, you're the man to talk to if I want to get my business on Instagram. And she said, I don't, and then she said, I don't know anything about it. I'm just told that I need to use Instagram for my business. Hmm. Okay. So what do you do with that? Um, you're going to have trouble succeeding if you think that you should just jump on the platform because somebody says you should jump on the platform. Okay. You got to know what you're doing. Uh, you got to know whether you should be there and then you gotta know how to operate when you are there and you have to have a commitment to it. So there's multiple things that go into that um, and I wanna point those out to you today. So number one is your demographic there. So I had to ask her, you know, uh, what is your business and uh, who are your clients um, and let's talk about their demographic, age, what they do, that type of thing, to figure out if they even are on Instagram, all right? So let's just say that they are, I'll keep running down that thread because if they're not, pivot, you don't need to be there kind of thing at this point in time. You might want to get your username so you have that because the, the demographics continue to expand on Instagram. Um, but if your clients are not spending any time there, it's not a platform where you typically are going to need to spend time. So let's say that they are. Um, so number one, she needed to learn how to use Instagram. Okay. Uh, so you got to get that app, you got to put it in your smartphone. And you got to go through the basics there about, uh, are you committed to this? And she's like, well, I want to share testimonials. I'll say, okay. Um, Instagram is a image based platform and there's in images and uh, video that you could do, uh, but you're, you know, you're going to need to have content. So it's, it's, it's a visual social platform. And so you talked about that a little bit. You got to have, you'd be ready to sh share images. And she said, well, I can, I can, you know, share images of the testimonies. And I was like, however, so we don't want to just share images with text on them, that type of thing. I said, there, you can do that a little bit, but not too much. I said, it's, it's about people, it's about life, it's about what's happening, and it's, it's visual to capture the essence of um, you know, what your business is contributing to people, if it's testimonial, that type of thing. So we need to take a look at a content strategy. And on Instagram, you're going to have to be regular at this. This is not something you can post on once a month, uh, once every two weeks. If we're going to talk about you know, uh, three or four times a week, probably a minimum, uh, for a business to to be on Instagram, okay? Uh, so I've talked about that. And then I also mentioned that it's not just about you posting. I said because the only way you're going to gain some traction is if you're also spending time on there. So if you're not on Instagram now, are you willing to make that commitment and dig into that? Because um, you're going to need to you know follow some people. You're going to need to go in and search some hashtags. You're going to need to go in and comment on some of those posts of others that you uh, want to follow that are you know in your community that that are relevant to your business and the hashtag that you follow and and add into those you have to have a hashtag strategy for your business because hashtags matter on Instagram uh, that's one of the latest developments that people can follow a hashtag on Instagram and then they will see posts in their news feed of that hashtag and so for a business to know you know, uh, what is an important hashtag for them to use? Not just one that's their business or their product, because maybe nobody's going to be searching for that, but, but something that's relevant to 
um, how their their product is used, you know, or or the community that they're in, the city that they're in, is going to be important to gain exposure. So you got to think about those things. So she said, I want to be on Instagram because somebody told me you need to be there. That was my answer to her. That uh, you got to think through those pieces, and uh, that's important. Okay. The second one is a more practical tip, and uh, that is I have a friend um, who runs a nonprofit, and uh, their story was carried by another larger entity uh, that's in media, and uh, that entity, you know, did a did a video of kind of of the interview for him, and and so they and they carried this on their website. The the third party here did a blog post. With the video, uh, but the video is kind of the, the centerpiece of this, and they shared it on their Facebook page, and then he shared that post on his Facebook page, and it was a post with a YouTube video. So if you know anything about sharing a YouTube video on Facebook, it's not the ideal because it won't pull in the video, it won't pull in the images. It's just a um, a, a text. That it highlights what the title of the video is, a little bit of the description, and it links off to the video. So it's not ideal. Facebook does not play well with YouTube video because they're competitors. Facebook wants you to use Facebook video. So he had this on his profile, and he's trying to showcase, hey, you know, this was a cool thing, and, and this is what they carried, this is what they produced about us, and uh, have a look at this. And it, it works, but it doesn't work as well as it could have. Uh, and so I said, okay, you know, let's take a look at, uh, can we get a hold of that video? So lo and behold, we'll go to the blog post, and this company allows you to download uh, the video from the, that they did of him, this interview process there. And I said, all right, that's a great asset because well, let's get that video. And uh, then I said, I want you to load that to two different places. I want you to load that to YouTube on your YouTube channel. So it's there, um, you know, highlighting their interview with you on your YouTube channel, and number two, I wanted to load it to your Facebook page. I want you to upload it there, and that way it's a Facebook native video, uploaded natively to Facebook, so it's gonna be right there playing in the news feed, um, all the bells and whistles that Facebook gives you, and uh, I said, that's important. I said, then, you let me know when, when that's done, and I said, I will help you get that on your website in a blog post, and we're gonna embed that YouTube video there. Okay, I'm using the YouTube one on the website. So that is much better than just sharing someone else's YouTube video, okay? Uh, just with the way Facebook works with video. And so I, I don't want you to miss the opportunities that you have to do things well, to get the most traction, because sharing a YouTube link on Facebook is just a, what it is, a link. Won't get as much reach, won't get as many eyeballs, will not go to all your fan base uploading your own video onto your Facebook page will get more reach, will get, uh, gives all people the bells and whistles to be able to play it, to, to see it in the news feed, easy access to it, more metrics on that for you, what's happening with that. So that's a, a um, more powerful way to do it. And that's what we're all about is, um, I know it's easier just to share what somebody else shared, but is it valuable? And you know, by, by taking these couple extra steps, we're gaining so much more traction short term and long term for his video okay uh, long term because it's out there on youtube seo wise it's just staying there and people can search it and they can come and they can find his website and that type of thing from that video because uh, it's, it's available in the google search and youtube search and then you know short term on facebook we're giving people a great user experience by uploading it to facebook so um want to let you know about those couple you know tips today as you go through it just Realize there's another um, limitation to Instagram. This is particularly for marketers like myself. Do you know that you can only uh, have five Instagram accounts uh, in your one smartphone app? Okay, so I've reached the limit, and I've got some uh, client work to do. So I'm trying to uh, figure out how do I get rid of one and um, add some more and, and keep going that way. Um, so that's it for today. Except I wanted to. Uh, promote my bracelet, my ad value, be in common. It's the uh, new time of the year, right? When uh, you want to make resolutions, you want to say, who do I want to be? So this is my reminder of my mission uh, in all things to say, what can I do to add value? What can I do to be uncommon? And be, to be uncommon is uh, 
the a marketing key because you have to do things differently. There's a lot of people doing uh, similar things out there. You're gonna have competition. People will choose you because they know, like, and trust you um, if they see you for who you are, uniquely you, uncommon, different, um, being your own individual, how you're gonna to come across. So uh, I put together bracelets like this and it's a, uh, actually a fundraiser for my uh, nonprofit, igiveglobal.org, igiveglobal.org, and uh, you can purchase them there if you go to the shop. Um, but it's for me, it's a reminder as I get started this year, how can I add value? Hopefully this added value to you. Free tips, no charge, and um, hopefully it'll improve your game on Instagram, it can improve your game on Facebook and give you a tip for YouTube and what to do with a video, um, how to share it, what to share, and uh, we'll go from there, all right? So if you have topics that you want me to cover, social media, digital marketing, uh, leave me a comment here and um, note you know, what, 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 what you have questions about and that might be a topic for a future episode of Live with Mike, all right? This is it for today, so you take care, go add some value, be uncommon, have a great one.